So first of all, let me talk about this. I feel like you might be dealing with this person. This is shown up here. So this is your energy. You're trying to convince somebody, the Queen of Wands, a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, male or female. And I'm sensing for many of you, this is a mother, a father, um, somebody that you are trying to, you know, you're trying to tell them like, here's what you should do. It's going to be really good for you. And I feel like they're kind of looking the other way. They're turning a blind eye. On the one hand, they understand on a very deep intuitive level that you're giving them good advice, that you're giving them, you know, uh, advice from the heart because you want what's best for them. But on the other hand, I feel like they're looking for a little bit more fun, a little bit more adventure, and they're not ready to hear what you have to say. And I also feel as well, this is somebody that I'm seeing an, an energy of a click here, you know, like a, a, a social grouping where you belong to one social grouping. They're listening to another person from outside of this interaction. OK, so it, it's like they have an emotional tie here with somebody else and they're going to work and make decisions based on the interests of what's good for them as well as what's good for the other person that they might be emotionally invested in. And so I want to say like, yes, you can talk until you're blue in the face when they, when it comes down to making the decision, they're heavily influenced by a, a third party. And I feel for, for many of you, this is like a, a fire sign that you are dealing with who has possibly someone with dependency issues. Um, you know, like some, some type of, they're trying to get their life in order and I feel like, you know, they're trying to do the right thing, but they have out external influences that you are not aware of. And so even though you're telling them and they, they understand what you're telling them, they agree with you. They're going to make decisions based on, you know, previous alliances, previous arrangement. I do feel a lot of office politics here at work. And I feel for some of you, this might be in a uh, work environment as well. It might be like, um, a supervisor or somebody that you're interacting with heavily in a work environment and they're not listening to you even though you're trying to you know steer them in the right direction you're appealing to their sense of reason but I feel like whatever it is it's not appealing to them on an emotional level and that's why you might not be able to get through to them um, I mentioned this before Libras and I feel like this needs to be said again, okay? I mentioned this, I believe, in the mid-month reading where I, I, I feel like for you and um, you and Aquarius, you have a really difficult time uh, speaking about feelings, speaking from the heart, speaking about emotions. It's almost like, you know, as, as all human beings, you, you feel things on a deep level. But when it comes to the way that you express things, you're very factual, you're very pragmatic and you're very fact based. And a lot of the times I feel like in order to persuade people to do things that you want or to do things that, that is best for you, you have to put in a little bit of a human touch to it. So that basically means, Hey, you know, I'm worried about you. I'm worried about the path that you're taking because you know, of such and such, but more than anything, just express, it in a way where it appeals to the other person emotionally. And you might be wondering, like, what exactly does that mean? What, what exactly does that, you know, entail? It basically means I feel that you should do this, blah, 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 because I feel that if you do this, you will get this, this, blah, blah, blah. So it's basically telling them walking through the emotional process with them. So you can still, you know, interject with these um very you know like um you can still do so by appealing to them intellectually but the way that you phrase it it has to start with you know i feel sentences i feel that or uh, rather than i think that because you're very good at thinking but when it comes to making an emotional appeal trying to get somebody on board you also have to you know slip yourself in their shoes and figure out what kind of person is this? How can I persuade them? What do I need to emphasize in my speech, in my sales pitch, in my argument so that I can, you know, get them to understand that this is also in their best interest. So I feel like that's something that's coming through for this month. And I also feel like, you know, it's a, um, 
if it's not handled correctly, I feel like you might not be able to achieve what you want, or you might not be able to persuade the other person from coming to your point of view, because I feel like emotionally, they're already wrapped up in other things, okay? And what we have as well, we have another water sign here. So this is a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. This is the King of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. And uh, what I feel with this person is, I do feel this is um, a relationship partner that you're uh, working things through with, uh, that you're trying to, you know, figure out, like, what to do. And um, what I'm getting from this is, let me look at these two cards in conjunction to one another. I'm sensing that for this month, the major theme here is travel. The major theme here is, you know, reassessing whether or not the relationship is restrictive or whether the relationship is enough for you to build upon. And um, I feel like for some of you, you might care about a person but when it comes to like, okay, where do I see me and this person five years from now, career-wise? Are we able to be in the same geographical location? Is it practical for us to do the long-distance relationship? Is it practical for us to maintain this relationship even though there are, you know, some disagreements? Even though I, I'm sensing some of you are feeling claustrophobic in a relationship. And while you do care about this person, because this is a you know, a very loving, very caring, very nurturing type of a person. But the partner that you might be dealing with, I feel like they do come and go. And usually I look at, you know, the couple's card, the king and the queen of the same suit. It's almost like two people living far away, far away from each other. Or either one person is traveling heavily and they're not able to be uh, physically and emotionally present when you need them. So there's a little bit of a um, topsy-turvy energy, turbulent energy coming through as it relates to your relationship partner. And I feel like many of you are reassessing, like, is the, uh, can I still grow in this relationship? Is it making me happy or am I feeling stifled? And I'm also sensing as well. And this is, um, this is fine. I'm sensing some of you are ready to go out, meet new people, date around. You might not want to put yourself on hold for just one person. You might just want to go out and, you know, feel the need to make connections, date multiple people, and that's fine. But I do feel that you're caught between what your intellect is telling you. You know, uh, this is give it another try. Give the, the relationship another try. And you're caught between your emotions. And your emotions basically screams out, I want to explore. I want to live my life. I want to be unencumbered. I want to, you know, experiment a little bit. So I feel like that's what's really happening here. So we do have some inner conflict playing out in your life, but I also feel as well. Um, this is a situation where I, I, I don't feel like it's going to be, it's going to be intense. I, I feel that it's more overcoming internal conflicts, trying to figure out what is the best course of action for me and what's the best uh, step for me to take right now. So let me talk about the freedom of movement situation. I feel like for the next, for the past few months, um, there were things physically for the past few months. So um, possibly, you know, in that June time frame, um, I feel like there were June, July, July. So I feel like there were a few things blocking your path when it comes to like, um, forward momentum, forward movement, even freedom of movement, feeling free to come and go as you please. There was something physically barring your path for some of you, inclement weather. For others of you, lack of transportation. And then for others of you, financial worries, even like working really, really late. And then, you know, you, you wake up really early to get to work. And then by the time you get off work, it's like nighttime and you go home and you repeat the whole process. So it just feels like life wasn't very enjoyable. There were a lot of restrictions. And I also feel like you were really beating, um, you know, kind of like being very hard on yourself 
feeling frustrated, feeling as if you're not good enough. And, and I also feel like feeling a little bit, this is a card about a victory. So I'm feeling for some of you feeling frustrated because you feel like you failed in some capacity. This energy is uplifting because they're, it's, it's lifting, excuse me, because they're saying like, the process needed to happen, the process of, you know, uh, defending yourself, um, the process of like having to put in the extra work to show what you are capable of, to prove to others your skills and to prove to others how determined, how responsible and how strong and ambitious that you are. Once these things were able to be achieved, I feel like that's when progress is going to start. So I feel like some of you are in a work environment where you're starting from the bottom here with the page of pentacle. This is somebody starting out and they might not have all the skills. They might not be, you know, adequately compensated based on the work that they're doing. But with it in the revert, in the upright position, it basically means that it can be built upon. So right now things are a little bit frustrating, but sooner or later, you're going to get to the space where you feel good about the contributions that you're making. You feel adequately like uh, sufficient based on the salary that you're making, and you will feel as well uh, appreciated by the people around you. So we have some things here that you still need to work out. Um, and I also feel like for many of you, you might have, you know, gone from a more of like a creative field, like, you know, art. Um, I feel like more like liberal arts or even fine arts. And now you're working, you're finding yourself returning to work, trying to work in an environment that is very practical. It's very structured. It's a little bit rigid. And you're trying to navigate the, the energy and you feel like it's a little bit claustrophobic and a little bit restrictive. Okay. So overcoming a lot of internal conflicts, I feel is the major first step when it comes to being able to achieve, you know, showing other people, like showing other people what your potentials are, what your capabilities are, what your skills are, and being able to do that before a job can come into the picture to give you exactly what you want. So we have some really strong things here and it basically I'm, I'm seeing this element here about overcoming indulgence, overcoming like uh, that concept of, you know, uh, it, it's almost like a lot of the times with air signs, I feel like you look at a situation, you look at, for example, you look at a job and you're just like, oh, you know, that looks really easy. I don't really want to waste my time. But I feel like this is kind of this spread is signaling to me like starting from the ground up building things from the ground up making sure it is stable so don't you know turn your nose up at it it if it seems like you might need to start from the bottom to build something gradually don't skip that step and don't say oh i don't want to be bothered with it because i feel like knowledge is you know cumulative you have to do step A first in order to learn the techniques in order to do step B. So you're learning from the ground up and it's going to be a little bit slower than you, you want. It's going to, it's going to require a lot of like uh, patience and diligence, but more importantly, proving to other people what you're capable of so that they can give you additional responsibility so that you can climb your way to the top and then eventually take on more responsibilities, prove more of your skills and have other people trust you. Okay. So we have here the star in the reverse position. And uh, I feel like for some of you, if you are applying for like a, a job, a major internship, a major, um, you know, like a once in a lifetime opportunity, I feel it's coming through. I feel financially it's not going to be paying the amount that you would anticipate or you expected. Okay. And I also feel like for those of you going through interview process and things, be very, very careful with this energy. So this is an energy about, you know, um, yes, they know you're smart and that's why they call you in for an interview. They know you're qualified. However, they need to know as well that you are relatable. They need to know as well that you are able to get along with everybody. And this is not so much a problem for you, Libras, but I feel uh, some of you out there, you might take on this air where you um, you want to show you want to show your your skills and your expertise. You want to show your technical knowledge, but they might f they might find that you are a little bit like 
uh, less approachable than the next candidate who's really relatable, who's really nice, who's really like, you know, bubbly. Okay, so we have a situation where it's like I, I, feel, I see one position and then I see multiple people applying for that position because like it's converging as well. So just keep that in mind. 